Hey guys, how you doing? Fishmonger here. I'm going to be making a video for you that's going to show how to run or install and run uh, Fishmonger for uh, first time users um, on the website. If you haven't already gone there, it's at wowfishmonger.weebly.com. You can always download the latest version um, right here. In this case, it's 2.01. However, I will be having 2.02 um, loaded shortly and that'll be on this link. Um, I definitely recommend you check out uh, 2.02 when it's up. And actually, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be going through the 2.02 installation. So, what I've done was I've already downloaded the file um, from the website, and I've put it into a new folder. And you want to make sure you do that before you run it, because the first time you run this program, it's going to unpack all of the necessary files that Fishmonger needs in order to run. So I just made a folder on my desktop called Fishmonger folder, and then moved that file um, to that folder. And then, in order to make things easy for myself, I just made a shortcut that goes to that folder. So now I can move that folder around anywhere, and the shortcut will run directly to it. So I'm going to open this up. And it's going to bring me to the setup wizard, and it's going to basically tell me that if you're upgrading or installing, this will do all that stuff for you. It's also telling me the note in red about everything I just said. Make sure you have it in the proper folder before you run it, because it does not have the option to change folders during this installation. So I'm going to hit next. And basically it's telling me the name of the folder I'm going to put it in. And it's telling me that I'm good to go. So I'm going to hit next. Uh, it's going to give me the user ID number. This is the ID number that will identify you to me. So I'll know who you are. So I can get you all the codes and everything you need. The first time you run this program, it will put you in trial mode. Uh, which will limit you to 50 fish at a time. It runs a little bit slower and has some things disabled. So after you get this installed up, send me your user ID number. Because I'll get you a code that'll run uh, the uh, full version for 10 days for you so you can try it out and check it out so I want you to take a look at the uh, full version um, so you know because you can see a lot of a lot of the nice things that go on for the uh, full version there so I'm gonna hit next there's a little note here uh, make sure that your Warcraft uh, window is open and uh, the video mode is set to windowed or windowed full screen um, this is all elaborated in a, um, a different file that I'll explain to you in a second because um, you want to have all this up before you hit next if not the installation won't continue. Uh, Fishmonger needs to actually gather some data from your Warcraft window, so you want to make sure it's up and you're good to go um, before moving forward. So, you can see what's coming up here is it's telling me I'm in the trial version. Um, this getting started button here, if you've never done Fishmonger before, you want to make sure you click on this, read through everything here and get everything set up. This will explain all the video settings and everything in Warcraft you have to do in order for Fishmonger to work properly. Things like um, setting up uh, Warcraft to auto loot, changing some of the video settings around. Um, this is important stuff, because if you don't do this, um, it's gonna really prevent Fishmonger from working properly. This is the one of the most important things you could do. So, in the trial version, it's telling me that we're limited to 50 fish. Um, basically, I have some options here I can change and some things I can't. Um, a lot of the um, more advanced things are uh, taken out temporarily. Um, I do have the ability to take some stuff on and off, like the status window and the search window. I do have some of the advanced options available, however, some are grayed out. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to unlock the uh, full version. So in order to do that, you're going to click on the button that says Get Full Version. It's going to give you your user ID number. You want to copy that and then send that to me in an email because I'm going to use that to generate the uh, code that you're going to need to unlock it. So I'm going to do that actually right now as I'm talking to you. I'm going to throw it in my handy dandy code generator and it's going to tell me that I need to use this code. So I'm going to pop that in there and then basically I'm going to say OK, it's correct. And I've unlocked the full version. In order for this to properly take effect, you want to close this and then basically reopen it. And when you do that, it's going to then bring up the full version for you. So now you can see the full version is up and running. And I have right now 10 days of the full version because the expiration date is 10-1. Uh, Today is the 22nd, so that should be uh, 10 days past the 22nd. Um, and now I have the option, since I'm in the full version, to basically make all of the adjustments and everything that I need to. I have other videos that I will uh, put annotations boxes up here on the screen for you when they're complete that'll explain in detail all those other things that you want to do for Fishmonger. However, you can see that, you know, in the advanced options, I do have everything available, nothing is grayed out. 
and um, everything that that is currently available for 2.02 is um, enabled for me. For instance, nothing for catch and loot, nothing for beep boop is in there right now. However, everything else uh, is set up and good to go. So, in order to acquire more time for Fishmonger, um, we basically want to click on the purchase time button. Um, and again, your user ID number is what you want to give me. And I'm going to give you the codes that you need in order to add more time. So you want to go to the subscription tab, and then basically you're going to plug those three codes in. So for instance, I'm going to take the three codes that I've generated to give myself 30 days, and I'm going to plop them in there. I'm going to hit submit, and it's going to tell me I added 30 days to my subscription, and it will be updated the next time you start Fishmonger. So when I exit out, it's going to tell me that I'm 11-1, but if I close this and then reload, it is then going to tell me that I'm now 12-1 because it has added my 30 days. So that's pretty much all you got to do to basically set up uh, Fishmonger for the first time and get it installed. Um, like I said, there's going to be other videos that are going to go into more detail as far as all the other stuff um, for it. And if you got any questions, hit me up at my email. It's uh, wowfishmonger at yahoo.com. You can also hit me up at my Twitter address, which will be up on the screen. Any questions, like I said, hit me up at my email. Um, I'll be happy to, to help you out. And um, if I see you out in the world, I'm going to greet you with a hello. I'm going to greet you with a smile. I'm going to give you a wave and a wink and maybe a hug. And as always, I'm going to wish you the best of luck on your fishing adventures and tell you to fish on. This is Fishmonger signing out. Quick plug to the music. This is uh, the band Dreamtime with the album Sun. Really nice, relax, chillo. Chillo, that's like chill and mellow. It's a word I just made up because I actually screwed up what I was going to say. But this is chill and mellow, down to earth, uh, dreamy, trippy kind of music. And it's uh, it's good music to make YouTube videos to. Uh, it's also good music to fall asleep to and whatnot. So it's uh, your personal preference of what you want to do with the music. But, uh, but this is Fishmonger. I will catch you guys later.